Treatment Action Campaign is celebrating 20 years of existence this year. The HIV AIDS activist organization was formed to force government to make ARVs available to South Africans. It was co-founded by Zaki Ahmad. Joining us now is TAC Chairperson Sibungele Shabalala. To reflect on the past 20 years, uh, Sibungele, good morning good. and thanks for your time. Uh, the TAC, the Treatment Action Campaign, can you believe it's 20 years? I can't believe actually yeah. we were reflecting during the night to say we have gone so far. So what would, let's start with what you would put down as your successes over the past 20 years. We have a lot of successes. Uh, we managed to force the government to provide ARVs for people living with HIV. We had um, a Save the Babies campaign of which today we have less than 1% of children born with HIV. And as I'm talking to you, we have more than 4 million people on ARVs. Although we still face challenges, but at least we know that people can survive. And now we are pushing for, for stockouts because people are accessing treatment unlike before in 1998, where there was no treatment and, at all. And even um, opportunistic in, infections now today are treated and uh, unlike in the earlier years of tech formation. So tell us about those challenges. You said, while well, we still have some challenges. What is still on your to-do list? There's a lot mm -hmm. on our to-do list. One, we are talking about, uh, as I've said, the stockouts, mm -hmm. especially second line and third line regimen. And TAC now is no longer focusing only on HIV, but we are focusing on the whole healthcare system. We are seeing more people who are, who are having cancer without treatment because cancer treatment is very expensive. We also see human uh, resource in, 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 in hospitals, a very shortage of them. We are seeing corruption within our leaders in government where when they loot money from the public purse, people on the ground are suffering. We are seeing a broken healthcare system all over. And we are talking NHI these days of which mm. A few days ago, the, the, the cabinet didn't pass it, of which we, we are celebrating for that because we've been saying to the minister, we, this is not the NHI that you promised us. So we need an NHI that will talk to people. We are facing so many challenges. Our primary health care services mm -hmm. are in shambles, and we need the, 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 the minister or the Department of Health to fix the primary health care services so that everyone could be able to access free uh, quality uh, um, health care services. Well, You've been on the front line, uh, apart from fighting behind the scenes and fighting legislation and policy and all of that, your interaction with ordinary South Africans over the past 20 years. Give us some idea as, as to how attitudes have evolved. How have people, South Africans themselves, um, uh, patients themselves, people living with HIV AIDS, how have, they, how have they changed? How have they evolved in terms of how we view this, this disease, this illness? Uh, they've changed dramatically. Uh, remember in the earlier days of... 1998, people were killed. Remember Kukudlamini, yes. which she was stoned to death because she she disclosed her status. But today we never we are no longer seeing that. People have started to accept themselves if they are living with HIV, and the community they started to live to accept people who are living with HIV. And HIV now it's it's treated as an, any other chronic illnesses, unlike in the early years. Of, 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 of HIV and remember it was called in 1985 it was called the gay disease but now we know that HIV has no color it affects anyone black or white mm. dark or whatever yeah. well I, I want to ask you Sibungil and I asked this to a guest just before World AIDS Day earlier this month and yeah. just saying would, would ARVs now being uh, more accessible than they were many many years ago are you finding that we're also between a rock and a hard place where we have especially the concerns about the youth and youth infection and, and young girls mm -hmm. who are now dating older men the whole blesser phenomenon um, are we finding that because ARVs are accessible the thinking out there might be, okay, people go on to live healthy, happy lives with ARVs. So I don't really need to protect myself. I can have unprotected sex. It's okay if I get sick because the treatment seems to work so well afterwards. Are we finding that there is that bit of a... Uh, I don't think that people are, are having unprotected sex just because they understand that if you are taking treatment, your viral load is suppressed, you cannot infect the, other, the next person. But I think it's because of patriarchy, uh, especially for young women. When you talk about young women, they, 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 they have pre peer pressure, they want to be there and they want to be seen and they want to have 
things that their friends have. Mm -hmm. And for, for a younger person to date an older man, she, can, she cannot uh, negotiate sex or safer sex. And the access, uh, availability of condoms. Uh, condoms are, are available, but not for young mm -hmm. people. When you go to school, you can't find condoms. And you can't expect a young child to, or, or a 15-year-old or 16-year-old to go the, to the clinic and take a packet of condom because in the clinic, they are all people. So it will be embarrassing for that young person yeah. to go to the clinic and take a, a packet of condom. Hence, we are saying make uh, uh, condoms available even at schools because we know that they are having sex. The fact is that we need to accept that so they see our young they will people be are having that sex. They need to use it. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for. And well done to the TAC. 20 years of great work. Much. That's TAC Chairperson uh, Sibongile Shabalala. TAC celebrating 20 years of existence.